This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update right now from ABC 15 Arizona. And we do an update to share with you in the state of education as the Paradise Valley School District will take a final vote on shutting down four schools come February. We told you earlier this week the move comes because of dwindling enrollment. The district says they've lost hundreds of K through six students in the last two years, and they're expecting that trend to continue. Obviously, cuts have to be made, but in my opinion, maybe cuts should be looked in different areas besides classrooms and school buildings. If you have a declining enrollment at a school, it's very difficult to have a full program for the students. The district says for every school they'd close, they'd save $600,000 each. Well, foodies, you don't have to go far to find some great food here in Arizona. Eight restaurants in our state cracking Yelp's top 100 restaurants to visit in 2024. That includes the number one spot, which went to Tamerico in Tucson, a vegetarian and vegan Mexican restaurant that offers a rotating menu. Here in the Valley, Scottsdale's De, De Babel, Mesa's Worth Takeaway, and Cocina Madrigal in Phoenix, all making the list to great spots to visit. Now, with the social media age, we'll have access to any information we want with the swipe of a finger, and that includes the next generation, too. Our Kaylee O'Kelly had the chance to sit down with some students who are savvy when it comes to navigating what's true and not true online. I think it's, like, useful to know what's going on around the world and, like, locally. You're giving me hope in the, for the future. <laughs> this is incredible. These Valley 8th graders, CJ, Kiera, and Rowan, are already actively consuming news not only on TV, but also online. I usually watch the world news with David Muir, a lot of no local news. Sometimes I just go on social media and I see like something that's happening and I do like research and information on it. And at 14 years old, this group already understands the intent of misinformation. It could be misinformation, like um, persuading you towards something that isn't true. These teenagers also realize they can't always trust what they see online. If it doesn't seem exactly real, I go and like search up other things on it on like a reliable source. And what would you consider a, a reliable source? Maybe like uh, the New York Times, like Rowan was saying, and just like like official news channels. They're learning about what's true and what's not from their parents, their teachers, and even their peers online. I do see certain accounts that are dedicated to like, is this true, This all this information in the news, all of these things that are happening, um, what's true about it, what's false about it. Obviously because it is social media that I'm getting this from, I have to recheck it. Telling me understanding the importance of knowing where and who you get your information from is key. And they have simple ways to make sure what they are reading is accurate. I would have to make sure that their information is consistent across any other sources that may say the same thing, or if it's even just like this one thing is saying this and I can't find it anywhere else. It's probably not true. That was our Kaylee O'Kelly reporting. You can find more tips about spotting misinformation on newsliteracyweek.org. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Cermosio. Some foggy conditions in parts of our state as the rain and the clouds clear out. There's just a very slight chance of a shower today. That high 65 in Phoenix today, 40s and 50s for highs across northern Arizona. Today, again, a slight chance of a shower as this area of low pressure clears to the east. But we've got another disturbance to watch. That one will be mainly brushing by on Thursday. It'll bring a chance for some scattered showers to northern Arizona. A slight chance of a shower here in the valley, only about a 10% chance. So then that area of low pressure clears out and we see a ridge of high pressure builds in and that's going to bring a warm up our way. So about a 10% chance for rain today, then again tomorrow. And in the high country, we'll see a chance for snow showers, maybe around an inch of snow in spots like Flagstaff and along the rim. And then we're drying things out by Friday and getting warmer too. By the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, highs are back into the low to mid 70s here in the valley. 50s for the high country by next Monday. We will have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.